Force has to be once again all by myself, and I'm starting my next LP. And that's on the Super Nintendo. Going from 8 bit to 16 bit, and we're gonna play Super Metroid. This game, I also died a few times, spent a lot of time exploring, found all sorts of good stuff, but in the end, never really 100%ed. I don't plan to. So, oh wait, hold on. It's already showing the end of the game. Shame on me. Nintendo. Possess. Scroll the camera through whatever that is. Metroid 3. Oh, look at that little adorable thing. Tell us that enemy we saw in Kid Icarus. Super Metroid. And we got some... What the heck are those things on the floor? Anyway. Yeah, look at this. My past history. Time to clear some data. Uh, let's see. I'll just clear this one. The jury saw that I beat the game. Data clear. Let's start this one. Shing. English text? Sure. Japanese text? No thanks. Control setting mode? No. Special setting? Let's just start this game. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Is someone to save for me? That's not fair. I want to do that. And hello. Sam is blinking at me. I first found the Metroid on planet Zetas. It was there that I fought Spoil the plans of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain, to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. That was her plan? <laughs> that was kind of hard to tell, but uh, anyway. Yeah, that's right, Mother Brain. Sorry, uh, Mother Brain. Yeah, look at that. Destroying that stupid brain. The next spot the Metroid on their home world, SR388. I completely eradicated them, except for a larva, which, after hatching, followed me like a confused child. The game just didn't allow me to attack it, so, of course, eventually got in my ship. Nothing I could really do. Like, come on, shoot! Why is my gun shooting? What's going on? Uh, whatever. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station, a theory, so scientists could study its energy-producing quality. By the way, we're seeing, pre uh, we're seeing footage from previous adventures, but they're getting a 16-bit makeover, because we just saw it because uh, those games were on NES and Game Boy, and they were a lot more pixelated. Scientists' uh, findings were astonishing. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be a harness for the good of civilization. Well, that sounds very, that sounds awesome. Look at that. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. I gotta live, I gotta find, you know, I make some money. But I had hardly got beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. The theory station was under attack. So I had to just put my hoagie down and turn the space, my spaceship, you know, <coughs> turn it right around to help these people. Because they don't really have any good security. The space colony is something. Get a beam right down there. And now we can control. That's a awful place for an elevator. Because the scientists have some pretty good jumping ability. Like, hold down R. Oh, no, you don't hold down R. Hold down R doesn't do anything. As you can see, we just run. You can <coughs> put the joystick in a certain, the analog stick in a certain direction. That's where the sense can be. Expires. A jump. Jump while running, you'll do a cool somersault. And let's just 
let's just explore this place, see if we can find anyone here that needs help. And the doors are opening here for us. It's not on the lock yet. Uh oh. People dead? I don't know. Oh yeah, hold down B, you can run faster. There you are. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Shoot you? No, I don't want to let you out. Come on. What's going on? Whoa, what the? Oh my god, what the? We got ourselves this pterodactyl something. Oh god, that tail. That's some pretty cool music. Ow. Be careful, that tail is a lot of trouble. Damn, it's like a whip. It is the thing has our other thing. The problem is I want the thing it's holding. So I'm gonna have to pump it full of well, I don't know these are bullets, more like an energy black. But my health is in numbers. Whoa! It ran away now there's a mercy. Double such the sequence activated, evacuate calling immediately. So the shrug! Oh uh, yeah, it's more problem about the future. There's always so some kind of self destruct feature. Well, either way, we just gotta get out of here. We got our steam coming all over the place. Oh, we got to do damage. Oh, can you go do damage? You just look like you do damage. Gotta get out of here. Oh, the stuff is falling. I think we're, we're, I think we're gonna make. Oh, oh god, we're falling. Oh god, it's turning. Put the camera. Let's just gotta get on there. Oh. I think we're good. Did we escape? Oh, phew, we escaped the last possible second. Yay! What are we gonna do now? Planet Zebus. Isn't that where you first, uh, isn't that where you, isn't that the planet where you stop, uh, Mother Brain from doing something? Like using Metroid to, uh, like, uh, cause trouble? I guess we were going back. And apparently the sun in this game were all that purple. That is a lot of rain. I do like Sam's ship. Looks like her helmet. Awesome. Okay. Let me go to the left. Can I explore this whole place? See what Okay, we're off to a good start. Making a uh, apparently we got all these puddles, making nice splashes. We gotta shoot these doors open with our energy glass. Got some bug. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, we're also a light green. So we have here. Oh yeah, back to full health. Oh, hold on. Oh, we can't go there. What's this? What? Ah, oh, doesn't matter. Let's go. Oh, come on, again? Right, there's gotta be something I'm gonna... There's gotta be some way to get by those things. You know, you already saw that I already beat the game. Why am I acting like a dumb and dumb when, when I clearly know what's gonna happen? Ooh, foggy. The bugs are blue now. What can I say about Metroid? Uh, it's good. Very good. Especially the 2D side scrollers. It, it's printed in 3D as a first person and third person shooter, and that's all well and good. But I'm pretty sure if they make another 2D, it'll be very good. Especially if they make it similar to the old games. Oh, yeah, and also this scene is, reminds me of when we fought Mother Brain. Or the first time you fight her. I think that's I think that is the place, I don't know. There we go. Press down. Take this nice little destructo disc. See that's how futuristic this uh, world is. Elevators or destructo disc. Okay, we go over here to get our first power up. I don't know. I guess after her first adventure, before leaving the planet. Okay, well how about this? After the planet self-destructs, 
Apparently the plan was still intact, so when she returned... Whoa. What's going on? Is scanning me? Mother Brain no one here now? Are they... are s new space pirates? That doesn't matter. Oh, forget it. Here we go into the ball. Go back up here. There are some paths we could take that we couldn't take because we couldn't morph into a ball. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Okay, so my theory is that after defeating Mother Brain, escaping the planet, the planet was somehow still intact. She traveled right back and returned all the powers because all the powers because I guess she felt guilty taking it without you know any real permission. Oh, what the door's locked. Just wasted all that time and nothing. Could be wrong, but again, why doesn't she have her powers from her previous adventure? Doesn't matter. Samus is still cool. Let's go back down. So annoying. Okay, here we go. Come on, B. Shooting, make sure there's nothing there. Let's try this. the game controller. Select that kind of stuff you gotta press down Z. Alright, let's get on out of here. These platforms do regenerate. Yeah, like that. They just look different. Okay, let's see what happens if we... Oh yeah, these uh, red doors, you gotta pop them like with five missiles. And they open. Then they turn to blue, so you just need energy blast. So like this, so you're not using up your uh, missiles and up there. I just need a little bit. Oh man. Yeah, right there is an energy tank. Basically gives us another unit of health, giving us another uh, 99, 99 energy. Oh, maybe I can, that thing that's scanning me, I can hit with a missile. Yeah, so we can just leave it alone. Right now, I don't know how to get this. Where is it? Yeah, I don't know how to do that anymore. Jeez, that thing's annoying. Yeah, I think there is. I just gotta jump higher, but I don't know how to do that yet. Alright, let's go back. Oh yeah, we're making some good progress. We got a map this time around. A much better map than Kid Icarus, said, but that's what I'm trying to say. Because this map comes in glue with a torch and pencil. It doesn't look like a chocolate bar. Oh, and by the way, we got space aliens. Oh, and by the way, they explode. When they die, yeah, like that. That'd be painful. But yeah, these, these uh, pirates are are just these alien kind of, type, kind of species. Oh, the green blue. They shoot little rays out of their I don't know, I can't really call them arms. 
pull like out of their claws or something. Oh no, not out of their hands, just out of their arms. My bad. Okay, now let's go back here. This time we got instead of flower, we got these. Sorry, just shooting everywhere. Got these space uh, fires, which I don't like. And you touch them, you die. Oh yeah, the purple things, purple orbs, are health. They also drop missiles. Oh, right, we have ten missiles. I can also bounce off of walls. You gotta be in a somersault to do it. Dang it, come on. I don't think the somersault could have got me that energy tank because it's too far away. Now, I like how you use that diagonal, but the problem is for some time, for some cases where you're the enemy's really close and you just don't want to move, you just want to stand still and touch your aim. But I don't think you can really do that. Because in Contra, eventually you got a little button that holds you still so you can easily adjust your aim without moving. Not so much in this game. But it's alright. Controls are very responsive, very smooth. attached to our arm cannon and the map data access completed. Doesn't unlock the entire map for us and there's a save right there. We have to that right now. Okay, Sam, just listen to me, alright? Run! Just run! Who cares about these enemies? Because this time around, they don't drop currency. There's no form of currency in this game like in Kid Icarus. This time around, you just don't want to really shoot these enemies because you want health or missiles or anything in it besides money. I don't mind. Come on, somersault action, come on. There we go. We have a natural this kind of stuff. Let's go in this little tube like thing. Yes, I would like to save. Alright. Save complete.